What's going on everyone? Kurt Widener here in the Team Animal Training Compound. Uh, and today I want to talk a little bit um, about an issue that commonly arises. You often hear people say that the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn at rest. And so let me start off by saying that yes, that is true, but not necessarily by the factor that most people think it is. So it's not like just because you have muscle, you can just sit around and and eat infinitely more food than everybody else who has less muscle. Um, what having more muscle does is it creates the capacity to do more work. So you, you have the potential to burn more, to increase your caloric expenditure because of the amount of work that you're capable of doing in a set period of time. Uh, let me exemplify what I mean by that. So let's say you have two individuals and they're going to do um, a squat session and they're going to do, let's just say, you know, five, uh, five sets of 10 and person one is only strong enough to use 200 pounds for sets of 10 and person two can use 300 pounds for sets of 10. Um, so across those five sets, person two is actually able to do, you know, 5,000 more pounds of volume, 50% more work than person A. So just by having more strength, um, the, the capacity to do a greater amount of weight for the same number of sets and reps, the work capacity, or the, I'm sorry, the, the, the amount of volume of work that you're doing greatly increases. And so that's going to directly correlate to a much higher caloric expenditure. Um, that being said, you also have to factor in stamina. And that's why we call it strength and conditioning, not just strength. So you could have another person who may have the strength to squat 300 pounds. However, because the stamina is not there, they're not capable of doing sets of 10. Maybe they can only do sets of five. So across five sets, they're only going to be able to do 50% of the training volume because they tire. You can even go beyond that. And when you're looking across the entirety of a workout, Okay, if you have somebody who's not only strong and capable of moving a lot of weight on exercises like squats, but doesn't tire, they have really good stamina, they can not only knock out uh, a, a moderately high to high amount of weight for high reps, 10, 15, 20 reps, sets, but after that, they can continue to, to do a lot of auxiliary work, whether it be leg presses, hack squats, lunges, leg curls, extensions, and drive the training volume up even higher without tiring, which means their caloric expenditure is going to be exponentially higher than most other people. So when you see, you know, people who have muscle and seem to be able to eat a lot of food, I'm, I'm one of those people, not that I have a lot of muscle, but that I can eat a lot of food, that's because you have to look at the work capacity. How much total training volume are they able to accomplish in a given period, whether it be a workout within a day, within a, a training cycle, most people's training cycle is based on a week, they are able to train from and recover from a lot more than other people. So that does stem from the amount of muscle that you have, but it has to be combined with the conditioning so that you're not only move, you're moving more weight on all your movements, but you're able to do it repeatedly without tiring. So as far as I'm concerned, the most important variable when you're looking to increase caloric expenditure is work capacity, and that's how you want to think about it. Muscle is just part of the equation. Anyway, I hope you find that helpful. Have a great day.